Whenever I'm in a weird mood, my default solution is seeking comfort in art. And I'm definitely not alone in that. Many people would probably argue that the main point of art is to be an alternative to reality. Personally, I've never really connected with the idea of art being some sort of escape, and I've never really used it that way. It's always been more about perspective, more about getting outside of my own head and seeing the world the way other people see it, whether I agree or disagree. Because I don't really seek out new art with the intention of finding a particular mindset or a particular point of view, I want to discover something new about a particular form or medium, and I want to be surprised by the connections I form with it. Because I've never really had the same experience with a piece of art twice, whether it's been weeks or years since I last experienced it. I find it immensely comforting that I can have such different relationships with the same pieces of one thing over the course of my life. Because obviously, our perspectives on pretty much every aspect of life evolve as we get older, but I love the idea that I can come back to any particular movie or book or album that I view as some kind of landmark for a specific point in my life, and everything that's happened to me since the last time I experienced it will help me see it in some new way, or help me recognize something I never saw before. Because what I'm really looking for is a sense of connection, a sense of understanding, and it goes both ways. Because when I find art that perfectly summarizes how I'm feeling at a particular time, I feel less alone. I feel like I'm not the only person who's ever felt this way, and I feel reassured that there is a real and effective way of expressing those feelings, even if I'm not the one doing it. Because I went through that whole film student phase where you think that your pain is the most interesting thing that's ever happened, and everything you make has to somehow be about you, and I don't really do that anymore when I'm creating. I mean, except for this. But with every one of these videos I've made, I feel better, I feel more creative. So I think I have to just keep going, keep exploring, keep discovering, keep experiencing new things and turning them into whatever. And I hope you all come along for the ride, because the connections you form with what I create, well, that's the point.